Welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream this Sunday evening. We're going to be playing the game uh, Black Brim 1876 by Puzzling Pursuits. Puzzlingpursuits.com where they'll have a number of various escape room slash puzzle style games. This game here is going to include two parts. Uh, part one and then part two over here. We're only going to be playing part one though so that you get a little bit of a... Uh, Understanding how the game plays, as well as not a huge amount of spoilers. I mean, I guess 50% spoilers. So you can kind of pop on and off when you need to. And you can also use this if you're watching on YouTube as a type of tutorial video for Black like, Brim. Hey, if you're stuck on something. I'll label them <laughs> as uh, numbered categories on the video to make it easy for you guys. Uh, this is an Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. We're live streaming from Twitch and Facebook right now. And I thank you guys so much for joining us. If you have questions, we have Josh on the comms and he's playing with us. How's it going? And you can go ahead and ask any questions and we'll go ahead and try and answer them to the best of our capabilities. We have Caleb over there in the corner as well. Hello. And then we have Alicia <laughs> and Callie over there. <laughs> Alicia's the one staring like a statue. <laughs> Say Hi. <laughs> Hi. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of energy you want for the immersive puzzle adventure. So uh, in this game, we're going to be taking out part one. Uh, we're going to be using paper and pencils. We'll take a top-down uh, approach to this thing so you can kind of see what we're looking at. And I'll try and show you guys these things, especially on the edited version on YouTube, uh, what things look like and how we can utilize them. There are different puzzles, I believe five in total, and we're going to be each having our own puzzles. We'll probably switch around with them. Mm -hmm. There's an overarching puzzle uh, that we're trying to all solve, as well as the, each individual puzzle. So with so all the five... five individual puzzles are going to all contribute to a final puzzle. Exactly. And then with the part two, it's the same exact thing, but with six overarching, uh, or sorry, six puzzles that have an overarching uh, theme that attached to the puzzle. In this game, Black Brim 1876, the police force has been kidnapped. And the elusive burglar, or I don't know, kidnapper, I should say, the whole entire police force, is uh, uh, giving you clues, I guess, so that we are going to be able to deduce where they are and find the police... Um, from their, I don't know, capture. We're the private detectives. Yes. Yeah, we need to. Do you have what it takes to crack the case and save the town of Black Brim? Oh, so it'll be interesting if we can do that. I'm terrible at puzzle games. However, we, we do have a master puzzler over here. And then we got two that I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I mean, and Josh did the Alcatraz with, you with me last time. So I think went pretty well. I don't mm -hmm. think that I'm necessarily the, the puzzler. So uh, <laughs> hopefully he's going to be able to uh, make it uh, balance for all of us. And then Alicia, we'll see how you do with the escape room style games. Have you played any of the escape room games? Have I? I don't know. Have you done any like physical escape room? Yeah. Yeah. So there I are a not good. plethora <laughs> of different escape room games. Some of them you might have heard of, like Exit. That's a very popular one. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Escape, the Escape Room, the game, uh, which is one that uh, one of our highest viewed videos on YouTube. And then we also have the Alcatraz and the Area 51 uh, escape room games, which we didn't have a video on. So this will be a new take on those. We'll go ahead and show you the game right now, top down. And then we'll go ahead and get into the game. You guys ready? Ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome to Black Room 1876. This pamphlet is what you need to read to begin the game. If you go ahead and start the reading of it, you'll learn about the different um, thematic elements to the game. And then, of course, how the puzzles are divided. I've already explained those. The game plays two to four hours, depending on the number of players you have and how smart they are. Maybe it's a <laughs> six-hour game for us. Uh, part one has the five initial puzzles you solve independently, and then you come together and create the meta puzzle. Uh, there are two parts to it. Like I said, the sixth one has six puzzles. There are tips. One's paper and pencil, which we have. Uh, you can use any outside resources, and some of them will involve the interwebs. And then you can also um, possibly become frustrated. If that's the case, uh, it's part of the experience. Don't give up. That's the that's what you. Uh, you can check the solutions and extra clues at puzzlingpursuits.com slash play. And there's there's also a way to check inventory if we're missing anything, which we hopefully will not be. And on the back of this little piece of paper here is a discount for 10% off with this little code here. I'm not sure if I can share that or not. So <laughs> I won't. Enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and take part two and we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. We're not playing with this, it's not needed. So it'll go there on the ground for now. Uh, and then we're gonna have this wonderful part one here. I've got my piece of paper and my pencil and so does everybody else. Mm -hmm. And um, I just guess we'll open this up. And I think because we have five people, we'll give every single player one of the mysteries. Now I guess, I don't know how this is gonna Wait, work. Wait, it says open ready. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Are we? Yeah, yeah. Caleb's hiding somewhere, but he is gonna be ready in a second here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and 
open this baby up. Ooh. All right, so we have. All right, there's, so there's a lot of paper, it looks like. I'm gonna take all these guys out here. Now, this is the first time I've actually opened it to look inside. So there's no clues right now. So hopefully left. everything is here, which I imagine it will be. I like how that old, like, it's a little, or something. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like a yeah. bag. <laughs> and then we'll see, let's go over the things we have. So we have these wheels, wheels, which I believe are called keys. Uh, another key, this is going to be a, uh, n not numerical, a alphabetical key. It's also in a circle. Like I'm guessing you'll that. take these guys here and they'll attach to these, which will give you kind of an idea of what words are which. Uh, we're also going to be getting, I guess these are each of the different things that we're trying to solve. So this one here is, it says Friday spelling bee match. And then there's a bunch of letters here. Uh, then we're going to have these. These are photo photographs with Postcard. something on the back. Yep. Yeah. And one. Two, uh, three, it's like a handful. and four of them. This looks like, wow, it's different paper quality too. This looks like a newspaper. It's mm. called the Skinner Tribune. Reminds me, the Skinner reminds me actually of this movie called Hot Fuzz, where the <laughs> person who owns the grocery store is named Skinner. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that movie so much. It's, uh, it's a great movie. Back. It is. It's really good. <laughs> Callie's like, okay, yeah, let's, let's move on. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. So good. I'm sorry, but maybe people out there in the audience have heard of maybe Hot they Fuzz. Have taste okay. and they're like us. And, and uh, good or they haven't, things. and now they'd like to listen, watch a good movie. Mm -hmm. We got this little letter British here. Comedy is great. And then we got this thing here, which looks like a map. Ooh, a map. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have this. This is a bill of fare. And she's got basically looks like some type of restaurant menu. menu. This is way too complicated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But each of these are solved individually. So you're yes. not going to be looking at all this. You're just going to be looking at well, one of this. I feel like there's more than five things here. Well, I imagine Where do you even some begin? of them might go together. That's the thing. Right. So yeah. I'm going to guess all of the photographs go together. These yeah. are answer keys here. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. So the, what, this probably goes with something, I imagine. Maybe the map. The map goes with with these guys here. I don't because one. Of, remember, there's one of them is or the. Or there could be letter clues from that. Yeah. For this one, one of them is the meta puzzle, okay. right? Which is oh, the final yeah. one. Uh -huh. And then there's five others. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Which means one of them is the meta. The rest uh, of these you can solve individually. What does that mean? The meta is like after we've done all the puzzles, all five of them, mm -hmm. we'll use the last puzzle, which is gonna be one of these things here, to solve uh, with the answers we've gotten. So for instance, if one of the answers is one, and then two, and then three, and four, and five, maybe we'll go on to this, and it'll be like, one is A, two is C, three is, you know, whatever, and it'll, well, oh, the word is exit, or so our first, exits. Our <laughs> first solutions will help us all together with the final solution. Yes. This, here, you can look at this one here. Okay. Uh, you want to maybe I put these on top of this. Uh, maybe. F. <laughs> I mean, so it's it says so that you you always want to look at uh, here. Go ahead. And Anything take that these, has some more menu. language first, because that'll help us. So we're going to look. Me and you direction. can look at this one here. It says Friday spelling bee match. Okay. Now, what's the first thing you notice that's weird about this? And that's how you're trying to solve puzzle games, right? What's What's weird about this thing here? The letters and their dashes. There's dashes. Them. Yeah, there's dashes here, and then you have letters here. Uh, the first thing I think is F R I D A Y, and then we try and match them together. So maybe F I, R. I kind of thought that, but then there was an I between the R, so I gave Maybe up. Maybe I ignore that. F, R, and then... I. I. D. D. A. A. What? Mm. Is that a Y? Yeah. So it would look like this. Is that anything? We can even write this that down. This may help the rest of you. The, this is a note from the, the, the kidnapper. All right. And apparently each of the five the pieces of information you all are looking at right now will help us on the map. Okay, so this this is the meta puzzle here. So we can yeah. set this aside. Puzzle. Yeah, we can set so this aside. So each of the other aside. pieces then tells you one of the locations of one of the kidnapped officers. Okay. So F, R, I, D, A, and Y. So it looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. S. I should tell you location on the P. map. P. S, P. E. E. L. L. Hmm. L. I'm going to play with these I. a little bit. <laughs> See if I can find some N. Words. A little bit past the S. G. Um, 
no. Not this one's a little bit higher. <laughs> and then B. B would just be... B. E. Match. M, A. Where's the T? T. Oh, no. Skips from the middle one. M, A, T. C. C. H. H. Hmm. Maybe we might even need a pen, pencil and an eraser, too. Oh, uh, okay. Hard. Or string. Um, or ruler. Or maybe no. you put it on okay. top of this. Can you see through it? No. no. Oh, I okay. wrote through my thing here. Let me go ahead and pencil and a... Yeah. And you can talk about what you're doing at Kelly. Um, I'm looking at the newspaper article. It says, Dear kind sir and madame, are you interested in bolstering your letters and articles with complex phrases in lieu of derivative words? This can only help to exalt your image and make more favorable first impressions. If this strikes your fancy, join our society of high-thinking fellows and take your vocabulary and your social status to new glorious heights. And it's kind of cut off there. And the other side, there's a bunch of articles that are local to the area. There's one about the annual harvest show. Um, there's um, something about a, a case that was settled. There's something about uh, old sheep that um, that was very old and died. And then <laughs> there's a new shop. Um, that sells tea, it looks like. Uh, so I think there's probably some clues in the actual language in this one based on, on what the back page says about, you know, letters and articles, complex phrases and derivative words, all of that. So I think this is a definitely a word puzzle here. I'm going to be looking for things that are unusual, maybe all of the capital words start with that and see what I can find. And the photos, I feel like they're famous places that I don't know the names of. <laughs> this looks like a church, but it's probably a famous church. I don't know. Yeah, I think the wheels on here, it's going to be letters that we're going to have to rearrange somehow because I'm not seeing any clear words that are coming through. What does on the back of these things say? So that one says that there's two oh, words for each space. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Each photo yields two words for the space. The common letters spell out a place. Yeah, I want to say these are famous places in France. I want to say... That's some sort of... Do we have any... Um, does anybody have a phone that can look up a picture and then correspond Do to... Do an image search? Image search. Yeah. Yeah. search based on so you it. take a picture of it... And I have a computer on my phone. Use Google. That might be... Uh, I don't know. If, yeah, my phone. They said no, we can this, use this internet. Notre Dame. Yes, it yeah, says to use internet. Okay, I wrote down that one. Uh, these puzzles use four different photos. If you don't have all photos, blah, blah, blah. Each landmark's name consists of two words. Take the common letters shared between these two words for each photo. The number of boxes corresponds to the number of shared common letters, which I think we got. That was yeah, the first yeah. clue. Yeah. Nobody knows on stream what these <laughs> places are. Look at them. They look they look like people should know them. Yeah. Put the ones that we haven't done yet on the side. I can't figure you can out look how at to these do a search on <laughs> via image. That doesn't look like this. No, it's not. Okay, it's not July column. No, it's okay. not good here. There we go. Uh, hmm. Buckingham Palace. Well, I feel like we really should have known that one. <laughs> Which one was it? That one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Should have known that. I have never heard that in my life. Buckingham I've Palace. Heard of it, but I don't. <laughs> you know, I never. That's where the Queen of England lives. Okay. It's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't yeah. ask me about history. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't wait. Wait. I figured out how to do it. I think. <laughs> me? No, oh, no, the statue's not right at the top. Yeah, do that one. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not, there, there's to, too many pillared statues. On Android, you friends. go to share. And it might not be and friends. And then you can do search image. Uh, facade of Biltmore House. Hmm. Biltmore House. Oh, I'm going to look at three, this right? one. I yeah. feel like... I don't want to dig too deep into the clues, so I feel like we're close. F-I-R, fri Friday. Okay. Spelling. S... S... P... Okay, I need to not have it be upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. It's okay, I can't figure out how to... Use the picture for the search. I don't know. I don't know about it. Okay, B. Yeah, I still haven't got any more of these letters. Alright. I think it's only one side. B. Do you get the fourth one yet, Alicia? Match. I just took a picture of it right now. Okay. <laughs> Ligaris Antiguos Antis. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, it should be two, two words. words. Well, this is not English. <laughs> Ant. There might be an English uh -huh. version. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's two words. Palace and what's the other one now? Oh, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Um, Biltmore House. Let's go to those first. Okay, okay. I think I, I don't know if this, this is what it spells out. So this one here, oh, right? Oh, nice. Can you Look. do it in marker so people can see? Yeah, yeah I'll do it in marker. Okay. So, right, the first one is Friday. Trio? F and R, right? And then. Oh, I see what you're doing there. I. With I in the middle. D. And then it goes back down to A Y, which looks like either an X or a T. Looks like a T because it's longer. Mm -hmm. And then spelling is S P E L L I N G. So that looks like an R. Mm -hmm. And then B B B E E is just a, a line, so that's got to be I. And then the last one is match, which I almost goofed up on, is M-A-T-C-H, which looks like a, a zero, basically, or an O. So it spells out the word trio. Is that, is that a word that we need? Maybe it's riot? Trio or riot. Uh -huh. I don't know. Something like that. But that's how this one, I think, works out. So you guys have found out one is Buckingham Palace, Notre Dame, Biltmore, Biltmore House. House. And then this one looks like Plaza you should have had the Trafalgar. Same word, right? hmm? Is this what mm -hmm. it is? It's got to be two names, two words. Plaza de Trafalgar. Maybe not. Oh, it is. It is two words. The, well, in France, anyway. Because the de is not a word by itself. It's Plaza de Trafalgar. Yeah. That's what it is. She's got it. Okay. Do we have to have similar letters between them? Because I'm looking at Buckingham Palace, Biltmore House, eliminating letters that are not repeated in the other, and there's not a whole lot. Oh, Trafalgar, Trafalgar Square, Square is what the, is the English version. Ah. <laughs> I was that only getting <laughs> some other language, okay? okay? Now we're looking for, if you flip them over, Michael, and put them in order, we're looking for similar letters. Between which? Oh, between oh, between the two words. Their own two Frodo words. Yields Their own two, two words. words, not each other. Like These that, are two it. words. Mm -hmm. they, each photo yields two words for the space. The common letters spell out a place. Okay, so Biltmore is O and E. A for Buckingham Palace. I think that's it. Yeah. And yeah, E O for Biltmore House. There's a lot of vowels. <laughs> 
A E O E A R. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This isn't going to make a lot not, of sense. No, it's not. Something not right. Common letters. Common letters between the different numbers? Each two photo holds two words for the space. That's the two words. Buckingham Palace, Notre Dame, Biltmore House. Mm -hmm. The common letters spell, spell out, of, out place. of place. So these common letters, whatever the common letters are, is going to spell out one, two, three, four, five, a six oh, letter place. Oh, maybe common letters between all of them. It would be A, E, O, and R. No, I mean like these two have B. That's what I tried doing, but there's, there's, too, there's many. too many matches. And Rick, mm -hmm. how many do you have to match? Mm -hmm. And yeah, like between Buckingham Palace and Bitmore House, we had B-U-I-H-M-L-E, which could be a word. It's going to take a minute to find, to try and find that in there. Yeah, and then we're looking for a place. Or... How's it going, Gary? Thanks for being with hey. us. Welcome, welcome. These ones are Wait, probably... funny people? You say I'm funny looking? <laughs> oh, C as well. Is common here. Hmm. More plaza. <laughs> is that you sure it's Biltmore House? Is that not? I know that's what this image showed me. That sound. That doesn't sound like yeah, it goes with Yeah, just make sure I'm not crazy. Mm. Yeah. Maybe my image search wasn't great. Oh, look at that. What does that look like to you? We might need to rethink Does Notre Dame. Hold on, that's on me. I would have sworn that was it. This looks pretty similar, and then it turns out it's not. Oh, uh, <laughs> well. Okay, so. This is, what does this look like to you? If you look at it, what do you see? Right now, first word that comes to your mind. Ta uh, mansion. It's like a palace old, like or a old mansion. No. House, yeah. Whatever. No. Okay, what do you see? I see a castle. That's not a castle. There's it's too not? many windows. It's got, look at it, it's got like it's the... Got turrets, castles are I different. guess, kinda. Little towers. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> okay. There's so many similar buildings to yeah. that. Yeah, there are so many. I'm getting cathedrals. lots of um, vintage posters. Oh, yeah, that's I think the problem. I oh. think we're seeing a theme. These are all in England, though, so it's got to be in England. Oh, uh, you might be right, Michael. Windsor Castle. That's what it is. That is a castle. <laughs> It's not a castle. It is. It's Windsor Castle. Michael Gray. <laughs> okay. So let's change the word. Let's look for that. <laughs> Which makes sense because there's only one letter on three. Yeah. Serge said he sees a reverse castle too. Okay. 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 <laughs> look at it. It looks like a damn castle. Like, I want somebody else to say it so I wasn't crazy, but you made me feel crazy. I just didn't fit my schema of a castle. Same. I don't know anything about castles or history. Okay, okay. and I then found, the common letter. I found letters. this one. Oh, what is it, actually? <laughs> Westminster Abbey. Ah, that, that's, see, this sounds like all the wow. famous yeah. places in England. But the two that I found are for sure right. Okay, good. We got E and D. <laughs> E that? from Westminster Abbey, that's I, it. That's the castle, isn't yeah. it? Right? Yeah. yeah. No, just one E. Yeah. E. That's the only thing in common. Oh, in common between them, yeah. C-A-E-S-A-R. Caesar. 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 They should have They're locations. Should we, yeah, should have oh. something on the map, yeah. Caesar Wait. Park. All go. of them are on there. Oh. Okay, so there's the first uh, individual. <laughs> the first possible Caesar detective, first whoever. Location, How about this yeah. one here? This one is called Trio. T-R-I-O. Oh. Trio so something. We can show people. Yeah, Caesar Park. T-R. I mean, that's why it's, it's, this is what it looks like. Trio, right? Or Riot. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
So there's the tea, Number the gallows. Lighthouse. Firehouse. I don't know. Hmm. That has three things. <laughs> Whatever the that trio. is. The trio. Three columns. <laughs> yeah, three columns trio. Works for me. The only other thing I don't think of singing was then three is... Yeah, the only okay, other thing I'm so thinking it, it says three columns. Okay. Is there any letters that are left over from your word search that then are not used? No. Okay. okay. No, it spells out T R I O or Yeah, it has to be T R I O. It's on X. So this is we're good. This is Caesar Park. Yeah. yeah. One bubble this, down for sure. This is the first two. one first thing I, I I looked at when before oh, yeah. wait, when I opened this thing up. And that uh -huh. sticks to memory. The other one was Black Black Brim Forest, but I think that they probably won't put that in the game. <laughs> All right, what do we have? We have, we have it, every Caleb has two things. All right, let's yeah. steal one from you. Let's steal the menu. This one looks like the most <laughs> challenging. So this one's next. It was that. The, it was the last thing. Yeah. Okay. Starters, and then it shows. Is that that's pounds? Correct. Austra. Regal oysters, smoked haddock soup, potted shrimp. A R O S H S. I'm wondering if you like the starting letters with stuff. Bill of fare. The, the counting, counting house, house restaurant. restaurant. Okay, so okay, counting. Gotta count. count what? Four, four five, plus six. five, plus six, plus five. Or no, we're looking no. at the fourth letter here, the fifth letter here. Mm. The yeah, give me them. Mm. Give me them. Let's see how that works. Uh, R. Uh huh. Uh, fifth one there is e. e. Uh huh. D. Uh huh. Uh, I'm assuming we're not counting any of this then. No. Yeah. N. N. T. T. S. Hold on, this changed though. It's not D anymore. It's only like one S. So. Mm -hmm. That makes it, N T S is not a word. Red is though. Ah, so this one is red. Yes. That's, but this but is not NTS. That doesn't yeah, although the first do letter thing. probably and is. Probably is N. Them. Okay, then go to the first letter with the second word, maybe. Oh, so yes. Yeah. L, no, L, P, A isn't going to be a thing. No. One. No, I think the S is different. Do, give me these. Give me these. These are all Ds, so we know that. Oh, remember that this one is a 1D, though. So Q. Which means the other one's going to have to be uh, U. U. Is it? Rump, yeah. I'm guessing. Yep, Q U. Nine. Yeah, it is. Q U L? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's E. 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 Like, that doesn't make sense. Q U E. Oh, so five, six, okay. I. Mm -hmm. I. A for this one. A. Q U E I A. This has got two listings. Well, the first one is H, but I don't know what S. I think the H is going to match for the D, mm -hmm. and, and then this one's going to be the I, but I don't know what the S indicates then. Maybe we can already match it up. Is there anything with Q? Good question. The red, red Sequoia Inn. Bar. Red, you know, red. Q U. Yeah. Q U O I A. So instead of E I A, it's O I A. O I A Q. What's what's the O? Ninety. Hmm. I don't know, but it says this is the Red Sequoia Inn, though. R E D. It's already leading that direction. I'm. In. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, N N. There is an N here, and there is. And there. Ends there. Red. Sequoia. It's the spell of a, look, I'm, it's cool. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. It is. Yeah, yeah Red Sequoia, okay. Yeah, and you have the pudding after you have the main, so that makes sense. I mean, I guess we're... Oh, <laughs> yeah, gotcha. The head we, were, we were able to solve it without um, fully, fully understanding there, it. <laughs> I'll count that can, as a win. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Partial equation. Okay, now these, I still... I don't know. Okay, so we got two, possibly three things. 
Oh. There are two this more. is. I thought this is an answer key though. Maybe it's not. Maybe this all just goes together. Maybe it's its own puzzle. Mm -hmm. okay, we don't need this anymore, Black Widow. Hide your way from uh, now. So no. this one. One, there's two, three. Let's see. Four it's, different articles. It's the Skinner Tribute. All Where the newly you received. Put that on the map. Tribune. Tribune. All the newly received or noteworthy information that is worth producing in large quantities. Worth producing. That's a weird phrase. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh huh. Large, so we're looking for things that are large. Green spherical legume. Legume. Legume wins big at annual harvest show. This weekend, hundreds of spectators and dozens of comp competition entrants gathered at the county fairgrounds to celebrate the annual farming show. Everyone from experienced farmers to background growers have the chance to show off their carefully cultivated fruits, vegetables, and flowers in addition to animals including pigs, ewes, and horses. The overall grand prize went to Isabel Gardner, whose beautiful green legumes nestled in their pods were perfectly spherical and enormous in size, almost the size of a bone. However, uh, sorry, sorry, size, uh, almost the size of a quarter. They were turned into a split green legume soup shortly after. Isabel added too much salt on top of the already salted ham bone, however, and placed near the bottom of near the bottom for her dish. Why is it legume instead of be pea? Split pea soup. <laughs> Legumes are different. Um we this got is hundreds, structure, we got dozens, it's written large, large quantities. It's written Legumes well. There's no like spelling or like capitals that, yeah. or things that seem out of place. Uh -huh. Williams to have an obligation to pay. In return for receiving assets of said amount, Knox, 72 pounds. Last summer, Richard Williams made news for borrowing neighbor Abel Knox's horse-drawn plow before driving himself to the horse and the plow into the Pems River. The horse unfortunately sunk to the bottom of the plows, but Williams survived unharmed. While Knox and the others accused Williams of being drunk on the job, Williams had fervently denied such claims and told the newspaper the plot was faulty. It could have happened to anyone. After almost an entire year of dispute, Williams finally agreed to pay Knox 72 pounds to cover the cost of the horse and the plow. I don't care about how in the red he got, how in the red he gets, or how indebted he is. It's money that I am obligated to, said Knox. Williams declined to give a statement and instead spat out, uh, spat at our reporter's feet when asked. Is there more in the back here, too? That one just says... Hey, you want to be clever with your words? Are you interested in bolstering your letters and articles with complex phrases in lieu of derivative words? This can only help to exalt your image and make more favorable first impressions. So like there are regards. words in here that are... Told you legume was sus. Yes. <laughs> but the words in here that are complex are like... Don't need to be as complex. This can only help to exalt your image and make more favorable first impressions. If this strikes your fancy, join our society of high-thinking fellows and take your vocabulary and your social status to the new to new glorious heights. Oldest female sheep in country makes history then dies. Also, I thought it was weird it said ew instead of a sheep. You could just say sheep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emma celebrated her first twenty first celebrated her twenty first birthday yesterday, making her the oldest female sheep to ever live in the county. See it says sheep there, but it doesn't say sheep there. Mm hmm It says pigs and ewes. Oh, no sheep. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh a beloved staple of the county for her ripe old age and more. The sheep of the female sex originally gained notoriety when her quick thinking helped save her own her owner, Taylor Avid's life five years ago when he when her panicked bleats drew into a passerby to save Abbott who had collapsed from a heart attack exactly why Emma was bleeding whether to help her owner or for some other reason is still unknown at the time for her birthday Abbott pre prepared a feast of delicious hay grass and clovers for the beloved female sheep but Emma instead opted to eat some elderberries in the corner of her pasture which proved to be poisonous <laughs> Try a hot drink with fr dried leaves at new shop. Dry leaves instead of saying tea. tea. Yeah, that is weird. Dried leaves. There's no, you know, Williams to have, have an obligation to pay in return for receiving assets of said amount. It's a really weird 
Yeah, obligation to pay. There's nothing quite like the smell and sort of taste of a warm, food. aromatic drink of hot water over dried leaves in the morning. That's at least what Sarah Hender, the owner of Leaves and Lemons, thinks. During the store's grand opening last Sunday, she welcomed new customers with free samples and plenty of milk and honey to those who wanted it. Oolong, black, green, it doesn't matter what kind of chamomile, or chamomile, chamomile. of Camilla sinensis <coughs> post-processing was done. I'll even drink chamomile, rooibos, and fruit ones. I love it, and I'm glad to share it with my customers, said Hendra. Get teeth out. So, beans. And bean. What word is weird for this one? The sheep. Or phrase. Oldest female sheep in county makes history, then dies. Hmm. <coughs> this puzzle uses a double-sided Maybe, Skinner like, Tribune newspaper clipping. Doesn't it has it? a lot of like synonyms for like famous. Each of the four uh, ar- uh, use, Each of the four articles uses long-winded phrases instead of using a more common word. Find a different mm-hmm. word that is not used in each article. By the end, you should have four words that have an interesting attribute in common. So mm. yeah, we have we are on the right. What did you say? This word. Famous? Famous. Peas, sheep. Peas, sued, famous, and tea. Bill, sued, famous, P- and tea. Tea. <gasps> so, because it said, well, all I said, all, so basically it says each of these has a word. Mm-hmm. And they have something in common. They rhyme. P. P- Sued, famous. These don't make a lot of sense. I don't think they're right. Yeah. P for peas. One P. No. Oh, Oh, like P. T. Mmm, that's just one letter. What else? What's another word for obligation to pay? The check. Deck. Mm, Something. It, these they're letters that revolve around um, making other letters. The words that make B, revolve around is one of them B <laughs> or C. No. <laughs> but you said all four words would have something in common. Yeah. Like I, I think then with the four words, it has these something are these in the, these either these either map, rhyme like or, or look. Uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm certain or... we're certain that legume is a P. And I'm certain that dried yeah. leaves is T. Yeah. Mm-hmm. P is literally the letter P, mm-hmm. and T is literally, literally the level, letter T. That's so what I'm guessing be is. Like, that's what I'm guessing. And C. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm guessing is the common denominator. Mm-hmm. Sue does make sense. It's not attached to them at all. Uh, oh, what an O! Oh. Oh, How about someone? to owe somebody yeah. something? Oh, yeah. you owe them. A. P. Yeah, so that would be O. Oh. Oh. Something T. I could look at the map. She's not famous, then. <laughs> not famous. Um, the oldest female sheep makes history, then dies. Makes history, goes down in history. How about A E? What's, what's the word you're looking at that you think is I out of place? O U. U. The fe- A-E. sheep. A <laughs> E. Mm. A count. B. It's not the C. This D. sheep of the female sex. Sheep of the. That's what it is. The oldest female. Maybe it is U. But that's U. Really weird. The letter yeah. U. U. Yeah. It would yeah. Be that's U. right. So it would be pout. pout. Is that a location on, on, on the map? I don't know. Pout. Or sad. The gallows. <laughs> the, potentially. The cemetery. <laughs> also um, potential. Pout. I can't read enough of them upside down. Port? The Those are the only... Sulking two. Springs. There Sulking you go. Springs. We did there you it. Go. I mean, that's my guess. I think I'm that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so we got... Oh. Four. We need one more. Don't we? We have three, right? We have Sulking Springs. We have 
the three columns for oh, trio. Okay. Yeah. I'll, Caesar I'll, Park yeah, because of the Caesar, and then Red Sequoia Inn from the menu. So we have this is the last one, right? We have five yeah. total. I am going to figure much of anything out. Okay. The best I can get from writing down all the letter counting combinations from this one is either scent or dices, but it's one, two, three for sure. Based this is on a Cali puzzle circles. here. Okay, so these we, are definitely concentric circles. Yeah, so I feel like this one's probably first. And so yeah, your center dices are the two words I can come up with based on the combos. This is the first Y. Because there's one, only one, one two, dot. three. Ah. Yeah. No, I wrote down every song, every single combination based on you know spinning all the way around, and then went through and did word scrabble basically off of it. Nebulizer. <laughs> <laughs> and you came up with what words? The only ones that make any sense are scent or dices. S C E N T. Whatever. And that's for this one mm -hmm. thing? Okay. How is... For all of them, you mean, right? Mm -hmm. No, just for that one. I have not done the others. Oh. How do you even... How do you know it's SC? Show me scent. So, uh, it's not in order. I wrote them all down in order, but none of them make any words by themselves in order. So if you put it so that it does S yeah, we're and about E one and N and C there is, and yeah. T... And then rearrange it so it then makes sense. Then it's scent. That sounds like extra complex. Mm-hmm. Does well, nothing else that made sense? Like spinning it all the way around, even like you're rotating which letter you start with? I'm going to take a look. There's what's none the that back sense. say? It doesn't. What do. if it's two words? Like Scent and dices. And? Those are just two possible things. The next step is literally to go through with number two and see all the letter combinations and start playing the word scrabble again. Mm -hmm. Could match up. Yep. Mm, okay, one more. It's oh, yeah. not exact. Oh. Hmm. Pretty close. It's not exact, though. So, this is a circular cipher, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also a green text. And on it. when we mm -hmm. look at a circular uh, cipher, we typically will go from left to right, right? Mm -hmm. That one like looks clockwise, yeah. Lined up. That looks like it's lined up, mm -hmm. and the green matches too. Mm -hmm. R T I N E. Yeah. Best I can get from that was trying. R T I N E. But we could get more letters from these other ones. Yeah. I think we need to match it up with the green and the lines. Are the circles different sizes? No, they're the same sizes. Okay. The green doesn't match. Mm-hmm. The direction of the wood? I'm not sure if that's going to matter. I think it uh, does. Otherwise, why would they have it? I don't think it matters. It's just wood. Is this the one you were looking at here? Mm-hmm. Show yeah. me. Show me. Trying. Wait, 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 wait. Trine. T R T T R I N E. T I N E R. Written but not with a W. Mm hmm. Tiner. How about this? Inert. Yep. Okay. That's a word. Okay, yeah, we just need to match it with the green. That's a lot easier. And we're doing it. It's circular, so we can start anywhere. So mm -hmm. D R so N E Nedric. And Hold on, what are the letters? It's not. Hold on, what are the letters? Are you, this is the right one. Are you sure, Callie? Or it's the opposite way. Uh, D R C N E. Just spin it upside down. D wait, that's all. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I didn't see the other one. I didn't yeah, see that one. It's that's not enough vowels. You can't make C N E U. Okay. And then the other one is. Does that one not match up? That one doesn't match up. Okay, it's probably not that way then. I E S I E S B O D. Okay. Bodies. B O D I E S. Inert bodies. And then I'm going to guess water. No, there's no W there. <laughs> gonna be something related yeah it's the Maybe cemetery it's the lighthouse or something 
Or cemetery, yes. <laughs> Your bodies are fit. So you gotta match the lines to the, the other lines in the background. The what? The, the grain the of grain. the wood. You see the Seems wood? Weird, but okay. Oh. There. Okay. O D T C I S. Here's the other one. R N E D B U. R N E D B U. Burned. There you go. Inert bodies burned. Burned inert bodies. Bodies inert bodies. So. The gallows? uh, Not burned. Oakmont Cemetery. No. You're burning something. There's, there's a glen, forest, a lumberyard, oh. a manor, mm. the quilled bar, New Middle What's Land, the name of the manor? Firehouse, Cordelia St. Manor, yeah, man. New Middleham, Black Burn Castle, St. James Cathedral, Wakefield Black Dunes. Black Burn Castle. No, it's Black Brim. Black Brim. Oakmont Crematorium. Crematorium, yes. And her body's burned, it. yeah. That, All right. That's our five, right? Okay. Oh, so it does give us something. So we have C L <laughs> Do you wanna write it here? Okay. C L yeah, right C L And then the next one is E O I R D S A T A T C L E O That's and I guess it's just A to J and then K across. That's all this does is give us a like a Do we know mm-hmm. if this is one word? We have no idea. This is just the the final puzzle here of part one. <laughs> we have five different locations and each one of them has a letter combination. C L. What do we look? We're looking for. What again in the story? The the police officers. Yeah, where they're being held captive. Okay. Are there any castles on the map? Black, Black Brim, Brim Castle. Castle. That's it. No, I won't get there. But the letters might not be exact to what we're looking for. Farmhouse. Okay, some of this we can mark off right off the bat. There's no F, so it's not going to be the farmhouse. Well, unless it's just referencing it and no, with another word. No, this is a, a word scramble. What, the only the last hint I read was it's a word scramble. We have to use all these wor- letters to make a word. And I'm pretty certain that because you guys we're here. looking for a location, so that's mm-hmm. going to spell out something on the map. It said castle. There you go. But the rest of the letters don't match for that. Like we don't we don't have any castle. B's. Yeah. Okay, we don't have any W's for tower. We don't have any Q's for the quilled bar. Mm-hmm. It probably wouldn't be one of the circles. We don't have Cord- West Glen. We don't have that. C O R D E L I A S T. There you go. C O R D. We don't have any M for manor. But wait, it- wait. Cordelia. Cordelia C- Saint. Oh. Oh, Saint Cordelia. R. D E L I A. Yeah, Saint Cordelia. There we go. Street. Saint. Street. Saint. Cord. Saint Cordelia Manor. Cordelia. Cordelia Saint, Saint Manor. Cordelia Street Manor. Either one. Yeah. It works. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yay. So Cordelia yeah, St Manor. All right, I'm gonna check our work though. Okay, we're gonna down. look on the the Lay the Solutions website. And Michael's going to go on there. just suggesting Crusher. <laughs> Each of the five locations. Give Sulking Springs. We got that. Mm-hmm. Oakmont Crematorium. Mm-hmm. Caesar Park. Mm-hmm. Red Sequoia. Mm-hmm. Three Columns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, the trio was right. 
Uh, for example, Soaking Springs on is EO. Unscrubbing the 10 letters gives you Cordelia Thank Street, you, S-T. Okay. The answer is Cordelia Street Manor. Now enter... Phase 2? Are we done with part 1? It says, now enter Cordelia Street Manor as the answer to the final puzzle in part 1 to learn what happens next. In part 2. Is that in this one here? Maybe. Probably, part yeah. Two, yeah. We did it. We I'm did gonna check. Yay. The solution. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like you're entering the manor. Okay. It gives, yeah, it confirms it. Yes. Okay. We go here, and the, wow, there's okay. a whole wow. bunch of one different. Oh, <laughs> I'm guessing those go in order. Yeah, six more. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing those go in order. Yeah, it looks like there. it. Seven total. Seven. Because wow. there's six okay. plus the final. The ultimate. Makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, your your five officers need to rescue, then you need to catch the guys to so make sense of the numbers. Not a huge amount of clues needed to be given. Yeah, we're pretty good. My breaking. Brain. You did really great, Michael. Mm -hmm. Saying you know, puzzler. All right, so there you go. There's Black Brim, 1876, from Puzzling Pursuits. Part one of two. Yeah, uh, part one of two. I think it took us. I don't know what time did we start. 6:30 on the dot, pretty much. 7:33. That was about an hour, a little less than an hour. Yeah. Like 45 we, minutes. We did pretty good. They said Which up means to. We had 23 more hours to finish. <laughs> It's uh, it said that it takes up to two to four hours, and I think we were on track for at least like, two and a half or something like that. Mm -hmm. And part two obviously has a bit more a couple extra more puzzles. Stuff yeah, one going more puzzle. On it. Mm -hmm. uh, the puzzles were cool too; they were different. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's going to be. It's not like exit or some of these other ones where it has like all this extra stuff. Most of it's going to be. Different really, versions of paper. Yeah, and, each one was just one puzzle. And you put them together. So you mm -hmm. can kind of work together. I think working together was the best thing. When we first started, yeah. just kind of yeah. like We're each like, of us looking at our own thing. I don't know. <laughs> and then you need the, the melding of the of the minds. Like we had this one. We were right, actually, as to matching these guys down. We knew exactly mm -hmm. what we were doing. We, we started writing them down. I even actually read them on, on the piece of paper first. And like this. What is that? It was a T. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like T and I made an R. Look, I even wrote it like this. T-R-I-O. Uh-huh. But because I was not like, you know, yeah. 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 T R I O. I'm just like, how did I not see that? That's why we needed to trace it on like a light background underneath. Then that would have been much easier. I think the, 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 the most, this is the most challenging. This is the most yeah. challenging yeah. one. Because there's a whole mm -hmm. story, you had to get one word from it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, overall, it's a fun little game. I think. What was the back of the newspaper? Uh, all, it said exactly what it to do. Know what to do. Yeah. 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 Kinda, yeah. Are you interested in I actually oh, thought yeah. this would be harder than it was, to be honest. The game itself? Or no, this the, one? the newspaper one. I, I was like, yeah. that's a lot of words. My like, reading because you were number it. Word yeah. is real bad. <laughs> but then, like, you know, the big words stood out to me. Sometimes... Like, uh, in these escape room style games, the objective is to put something that you should otherwise no, n n normally no, notice mm -hmm. um, if you actually are looking for it. So when well, you're they not, like red herrings too. Yeah. So exactly. there was a number of red herrings in these people. Normally, would you imagine mm -hmm. from a big piece of paper like this, what do you think is the first thing that you're going to find? The yeah. headline. There's headline. And yeah. then what else would you look at? Oh, that, that's not obviously for this Pictures. answer. Uh, I think of capital, capital letters. letters. Yeah. Mm. Capital letters. Then I think of sentences that are incorrect. Or uh, yeah, any mm. misspellings, that sort of thing, or, or all anything the that just one looks side. formatted weird too. They yeah. didn't make any puzzles that were pretty much. Other than I'd say the spelling bee one is pretty straightforward, but even still, I didn't get it. Uh, they didn't make any of them that, that were ciphers that I have tried before, uh, which is nice. So they're the unique puzzles. Like this tribute thing, I was reading through the whole thing, trying to figure out what the unique tw twist to it. It's literally just asking you to find the unique One word. Oh, really straightforward, mm -hmm. yeah. Should be common. I'm, I've done puzzles where you have to look at count number of letters mm -hmm. and yep. then come, become a word, yeah. Yep. But it was unique how they put it into a menu. And then they also made it so Two that different it, things. it was first, yeah. second, and third. So you had to mm -hmm. order it based well, on yeah, Kelly meat. figured out the order for the meal, uh, the menu for the meal, so yeah. I mean, obviously we <laughs> didn't sense. actually figure it out correctly. Like what? We mostly did. 10 D we did we asked well, what D was it. but we didn't know what the S was mm -hmm. we had to look on the map I'm like oh it's this one obviously maybe it's subtract one 
I mean, it could be. Oh, from the other side? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it could be going the other direction. Yeah. Oh, but the other one, it? he one S, one S for, and makes sense. Oh, no, because one. Uh. No, that would, that's not it. I don't <laughs> know. It would be in. It, this would be, the last ones would be N and N. Yeah, so how do you get to the N at Stilton and the N in pudding then? Uh, I don't know. This one here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. Right. And this one is either 1, 2, or 3, 4, Are we missing something seven. for the currency? Is there a conversion rate from the, the D to the S that uh, you know, we're not seven. seeing here? I don't know. This one is 7 or 9, and this one is 11. Or 2. But this would be SE, right? Because Sequoia, and then this would be N. I N N. So maybe toffee pudding needs to have an S. Toffee puddings. <laughs> that makes me. I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, we, well, we had, we had red up here. Sequoia right. needs to start with an S, though, but we're starting with a Q up here. I mean, I feel like any yeah, game that you. S E Q U I A I N N. So there's no. It's supposed mm. to be. I, I figure that if you're thinking about the game after you've okay. already finished <laughs> yeah, it, that's probably a good thing. We're interested. I always yeah. like I always do I like doing the escape room style games. I think this is a pretty solid one. Um, this I got one, two for just for Christmas. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've got um, quite a few on puzzlingpursuits.com. Oh yeah, the, the one you guys brought for the Christmas party. Hmm. An escape room. No, not an escape room, but it was oh. like a puzzle. Yeah. Oh, the okay. Neil Patrick one. Harris one. The, yeah, that's a pretty good one too. The yeah. Neil Patrick oh, okay. Harris one. That one gets really weird. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, this, this is a fun uh, game. For those of you who like puzzling games who want to work uh, in tandem together, this is definitely a better group game in my, in, in my yes. opinion. I would get very confused doing this on my own. It would take me quite a long time. Yeah. Uh, but I still like the game. still fun. So pretty cool. I was uh, expecting something Even different. More challenging. Yeah, <laughs> scary. Too, too, too challenging. But it was kind of like right where I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad uh, I encourage you to you utilize resources such as the internet yeah. as well. Because <laughs> yeah. it would have taken us a long yeah. time to figure out the postcards. Yeah, forget about it. Those <laughs> pictures, I'm like, I've never seen this castle in my life. Well, that's why I was like, wait, it tells us Almost we can like use double the check internet. Notre Dame. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was totally wrong. Sir. It's all set in England, so yeah, I was in the wrong I have my small victories. Know, this is a castle. Michael, it's not a castle. <laughs> It looks like a castle. When you think of castles. Castles don't look the same. Yeah, really defend, defend yourselves. Just that is all a vulnerable My castle. ego just like keeps going up and up as you tell me. Well, I had no idea what. Any it's a of the smart choice. Were, so. Smart choice to say you don't know. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, this is a game called Black Brim, a uh, 1890, uh, 1897, 1876. It's by Puzzling Pursuits. There's a link down below in the description if you want to pick this game up. You can also go our website on filteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. You can see more of our giveaways there as well. It's pretty important. We're going to have new ones up there pretty soon this week. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. I've made this a little fancier so you can actually see the puzzles as we try and work through them. Um, and of course, this isn't even the full version of the game, so it's still make for a good gift for somebody if you've already seen half of it and don't think half a game is worth purchasing um, <laughs> or you could play through it and not write on it right which yeah. is actually something you could do with this game i didn't notice you had to cross anything out or circle you anything you don't have to physically yeah uh, right or you cut could, anything you could up, use so. literally all scrap paper so yeah. these are good puzzling gift games yeah, and they also do have like multiple different ones on the website to choose from thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for joining me all right guys as always we look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time, time.